What up, what up, what up? This Daryl here, back at the Fairway Bermuda. Um, yeah, guys, welcome back. Thanks for clicking on, guys, thanks for clicking on. We got these guys still working in the neighborhood. I wanted to show y'all, um, see, still working in the neighborhood. This is the five days after the scalp I'm finna show you guys. We've been having rain down here for five straight days. Guys, it's unbelievable. Mother Nature wasn't playing fair, but that's how it go. All right, we're gonna walk around here, guys, and I'm gonna show y'all days after, five days after the scalp. But everything's going good. Here it is. And a lot of stuff after the storm still got sticks down. I'm gonna get these sticks up. I'm gonna try to mow this thing today, guys. But yeah, it's coming on. These guys working around here. Yeah, kind of windy still. And this area is coming in. That's why I scattered it real bad with the uh, with my ride more uneven up here. Yeah, there goes Doug. He's coming along. My partner just cut him the other day. Yeah, there it is. Got a few areas still messed up this one right here i'm gonna try to cut it's growing a little bit it's growing a little bit i'm gonna take a little bit off i think i'm using the true cut yeah i'm gonna let that true cut do some some work all right here this area right here you can tell it's all looking good it's coming in had no fertilizer none none whatsoever Got a little ways to go. Be all right. I don't know, it's early season for me, guys. I usually don't be out here until May. Uh, it looks seem like we're three weeks ahead. So I'm kind of a little lazy still, but I'm I'm getting up off my butt. These guys came out, I'm gonna show y'all a picture. These guys came out yesterday and refixed it. I'm gonna throw up a picture of what it looked like at first and this what it looked like now. All right. Still over here kicking it. Man, can't wait to cut. Here this area over here look bad. I'll straighten it up. It's got to show the good and the bad. The soil is saturated. We had one day, today is Friday. We had one day, today is dry, so no need for me to put down nothing yet. Wanted to put some Humic Max, some Careful X. I mean, not Humic Max, but some Careful X, Humic Acid. I wanted to put that down today, I don't, I don't know. But here's where it used to be, the plugs used to be at right here, guys. See? I never go buy seeds and reseed my Bermuda. Just a Tiffway 419, and I do stay in Mississippi. And um, I just took plugs around the area and uh, filled them in, and it looked the same. All the grass looked the same. I don't see any common still in there. I did that because I had common Bermuda growing in there, and I, I killed it with fusillade and uh, gly glyphosate. All right. Well, the, gr the lawn is looking, coming in nice. I say so myself. Hadn't fertilized it. I don't know when I'm going to fertilize it. I stopped putting some of them bags on the street the other day. Now here's this dead spot, this area I, I was having problems with. Where is it at? I can't even find it. God dog it, where is it? Where is it? It was in here somewhere. I used uh, chlorothenonol, 54% uh, chlorothenonol, and that knocked it. It knocked it right out the park that fungus I had and I had that fungus I had that spot showing up two years and I used another product I used another product and it, it, did, it didn't do I, I won't say the name of it but I never use it again guys here's the back same as the front 
see this tree up here it look like it's dying but this a this a messy tree so messy so it looked like we're gonna have to probably cut this tree down this this year because you can tell no leaves leaves this one was doing it but it didn't start it this one right here coming back but that's where all this mess coming from all this here you got to get this stuff up guys before you start real mowing if you have a real mower you can't leave uh twigs and stuff like this and then this tree here has acorns man this this tree had acorns i had to get every one of them up have my son getting them up and it's a battle yep so i'm gonna get these twigs up before i cut i just want to show y'all the back now this area right here you you remember when i brought all my cores off my aerator and put it in here so it filled in real quick when i done that and also the other one and then this it used to be a crease right here not no more because i always put all my cores and i'll be doing it again this season and then we'll have a sand leveling back here this area here i'm just i'm just gonna do make it almost like a beach it's bermuda i'm just gonna like make a beach but i'm gonna put some of uh mr bill i'm gonna put, put some of mr bill fertilizer soil fertilizer with the sand in this area here i don't know I might do the whole area but this area will be sand off just low spots i'm not doing a major sand leveling job it's just gonna be all the low spots and the low spots is mainly in the center right in here in the center and this area here you know i've been working at this area since i've been here been here almost six years just been working at this area right here two trees it was two breath of pear trees if i can find a picture i'll show them to you we got them cut down got stumps removed and uh yeah it opened up the back but yeah guys got a little work to do flower beds i ain't worrying about that i got into the end of may with that all my flower beds i got into may i'm gonna gravel them this season doug had me pretty busy with his lawn every time i had a every time i um get off my lawn i had to go over to his lawn i didn't sorry about that i had to go to, over to his lawn sorry about that um yeah go over to his lawn when i might not hit back over here and it was it was crazy but i had to help my butt out and i'll do it again and i'm just gonna go forward with finishing up my flower beds and uh things i got to do around the house just put it like that but guys i'm on the fence on fertilizer synthetic or organic so i'm still i'm, I'm, I'm still just trying to see which way i want to go with it you know me i like pounding the soil guys you guys need to be pounding that soil i'm gonna pound the soil this season you'll see a whole lot of stuff i'll be using i'll be using um worm casting again i get that from mr bill then mr bill got this organic fertilizer so we'll be pounding the soil and i always tell you guys I always start with humichar get some humichar get whatever you do get some humichar humid dg get that carbon down in the soil guys i use chicken feed chicken feed is an organic and it goes down the soil, it decays, I just say decay, and the microbes eat it, and my soil is just healthy. And um, I've done that for years, Humichar for years, Humid DG for years. Now I'm using the kelp products. Kelp products got a lot of vitamins and minerals in it. So I, I'm not gonna stop using kelp for less, but I just needed something stronger, or well, not stronger, but something that's gonna last long, because if you spraying, liquid fertilizer on your leaf blade that that don't last but give you a good pop for five no more than seven days and i need something for at least a couple of weeks so that's what i'm trying to incorporate a fertilizer with a high nitrogen that i can put down i, I don't want to put down something like a half a pound or a pound not much because i'm going along with pounding my soil i'm going with organics so organics it's the best way to go that's what that's what i say what i do to my lawn that's just me if you can pick a get a, a secret off of me or just something that i do around here you can use it, go right ahead let me go ahead on and clean these sticks up guys and uh thank y'all for watching man i really appreciate that the patience thank you for having patience with me but uh it's just not my time i'm used to may being out here what, what can you say 
I'm getting it. I'm getting it started. All right, guys, let me get this stuff off, and I'll, I'll be right back. Hey. They're gonna get it. Woo. Man, that was a tough job. They blow it all the way back. Hey, I tried to get every one of them. Some of them I missed, they're a little smaller twigs. I'm gonna try not to hit them. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and try to cut this thing, guys, and um, try to cut it, and um, I'm gonna take y'all along with it. We'll see what's up. All right, peace. guys that was a cut y'all see there's a lot coming off of it i got it uh I, all that rain remember i was well i was wanting to keep it down starting off using the true cut 20 inch keeping it at half an inch we had all that rain and all that rain um uh grew the grass it, it, the grass started growing hadn't been fertilized had, hadn't been fertilized but I'm thinking about, um, yeah, so I wanted to keep it at a half inch, but it grew. So the, this, the scape, the scalping uh, height, half inch on the true cut. So it is still set where it was at, and this is it. It is a half an inch. Let me get up here. Let me get up here. See that? Right there. Right there. I'm going to keep it like that and um for a minute i'm gonna try to keep it like that up until probably the end of april or the first of may i can't keep it a half inch i just want to see how it's gonna look and like i said i'm gonna break out the uh the green shocker i might just do that tomorrow and uh yeah this is it everybody looking like you scalped it again it was it was um the rain that made it grew. I, I couldn't cut. I couldn't cut for five days, and it, it rained for five days. It's the only time I cut is today, and we got it back down. I put my lung through the test, guys. I don't pamper my lung too much. I don't pamper it too much. I feed it organics. I pound the soil, but I don't. I don't. I put it through the test because it's Bermuda. Here we go up front, same way. I went the long way. You have to cut this Bermuda in a certain way with that true cut, cause I'm, I'm not flat. I got dips, stuff like that. There it is. I got dips and stuff like that, and uh, it'll been scalping it. So I just went the long way. No problem. So you can see the scalp down in that tractor took dug in the dirt. So you know it gonna take that a minute to catch up. So I'm gonna take that a minute to catch up. 
or this spot back here. Went on, start cutting it. It's it's still dormant. Most of the lawn is still dormant, guys. It, it's it's coming. We're getting the eighties. We we're gonna be in the eighties three days straight. I can see. But here's the cut with the true cut twenty. Half inch. Still scalping a little bit. It's all good. Hopefully that green sharker. And we got three days of rain next week. I think it start Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, if I'm correct, here in Mississippi. But uh, I'm good. Got it back down. Maybe I can keep up with it. I'm gonna try to, guys. <clears throat> all right, guys, I wanted to show y'all that. I still got to get the grass up and I got the edge. I wanted to show y'all that before, before uh, it get too late. I'm gonna get that out the way and I still want to show y'all my careful that stuff. I right, got hold on, let me give me something to drink. Okay guys, the dirt back gonna close out on my careful less stuff. So you know, last season I went all with careful less. This is it right here. They had my uh, the green lawn turf, that's a fertilizer 1004. Then you had the uh, 52 blend, it got five percent humic acid, two part kept. Then I added the aeration yucca. Aeration yucca and that was a 5025. And um, here's my molasses powder. And here's my thatch eater. So I put these two in the same one because of these two here work better together. So I got me some two and a half gallon jars. I mean jugs. I need another one for him, but I'm gonna go with this for now. So guys, what I did was, instead of me getting my backpack sprayer, a four gallon backpack sprayer, measuring out what I need and putting it in there and mixing it up, mixing it up, just, just like all these here, it, to tell you two, four ounces, one fourth teaspoon, whatever, whatever. I did a ratio for four applications uh, of this here, three ounces per 1,000 1, square feet. So what I did was, I did a ratio that'll give me four applications out of this, three ounces per 1,000 square feet. So what I came up with, I had a piece of paper over here. So I came up, I put it on the screen, guys. With um, three ounces per, 1,000, I had to have two tablespoons equals one ounce. So I had to have 12 ounces. No, I had to have 48 ounces. 48 ounces to give me four applications at three ounces per 1,000. So that'll take 24 tablespoons. Let me get it. There it is. These little spoons, this is what I was using for these measurements, one-fourth, one-half. I need 24 tablespoons of the green turf to get me four applications, three ounces per 1,000, if y'all understand. It's just like me going, and I buy this jug here. I buy this jug here, and it said three ounces per 1,000. All I'm doing is, sorry about the wind, all I'm doing is adding my to this to give me that same application rate, three ounces per 1,000, I hope y'all understand it. And it take 24 of these, one tablespoon, right there, to give me four application out of this jug. And if, when I want some more, if I run out, I know it takes 24 tablespoons to give me another four applications out of this jug out of using a four gallon backpack spread hope y'all understand it and i did the same with this to give me three ounces per 1000 i needed 24 tablespoons of this one tablespoon of this one that's aeration yucca something like a surfactant help take the um uh, the uh, the humic acid or whatever you're using down into the soil and you and it can be uh you can put it on your foliage 
It can be a folded spread too. I'll talk a little bit more about it, guys. I don't want to make this long. Now this one right here, it's a one gallon jug. But what I did was I needed another big one, but what I did, I wanted to get two ounces per 1,000 out of the molasses in the thatch eater. I wanted two ounces. Don't don't look at that. I needed two ounces per 1,000 of these two guys going into my backpack spread. So what I did was it, it gonna take 32 ounces to give me four applications at two ounces per 1,000. Hope I ain't losing you guys because I lost myself. Two ounces per 1,000. I need four applications out of this. So they're gonna have me at, 30, at 32 ounces. Two tablespoons is one ounce. Remember, two tablespoons is one ounce. So I needed 32 ounces to get four applications out of this at two ounces per 1,000. So it's take, gonna take me 16, 16 teaspoons to get, to go in here, molasses, molasses, and thatch eater, four applications. Pour it up, two ounces, pour it in my backpack spray, and fill the rest of the way up, however I wanna use it. So I hope this didn't confuse you guys. And I got a ton of, you can see I got a ton of um, careful less stuff left over. It was great stuff, it did great. This season, I'm going back again next season. So I got my calcium magnesium, a ton of that. Got my uh, mycorrhizal fungi, the Bigfoot. This is this. What that does, the Bigfoot mycorrhizal fungi. So fungi latches to the roots of the, the grass and uh, absorb the the nutrients and you know i got my great white i'll talk a little bit more about that these all bacteria fungi and all kinds of stuff like that then you got the silica real good silica does a lot um strong in the stem cell walls and stuff like that improve resistant to wilt heat stress and drought all this stuff is good guys i just wanted to show you all that these five pound bags five pound bags are the green five pound bag was five pound bag or the five two blend I think I got a pound of aeration here, but this stuff still um, still got me, still got a lot left. I right, got this um, this air conditioner kicked on. I'm, I got to get out of here. And yeah, let me show y'all this. Remember the bottles, empty bottles I had. I put my surfactant in here. I put my chlorothenolol fungicide in this one, so I can just go right instead of using a big jug. I can just go right here, squeeze it, pour it up, and be gone. And this is my T next. This is an old acelerin bottle. So yeah, that's my T next. Easy to measure and everything. So yeah, I did do them. I'm gonna need some more empty bottles to finish up getting in, uh, getting everything in order. I got this everything, and that's what I was trying to show you. I'm gonna put this stuff on the on the on the screen, showing you the people that using Kefless how to make a big jug, getting four applications out of this. So what I do is I fertilize every two weeks. Some of them every once a week, and some of them once a month. So I wanted four application, the right measurement to get four applications for a two and a half gallon, because most of everything will be two and a half gallon mixed up and be out the way. I got it there here at Fairway Bermuda. Thank y'all for clicking on. Thank y'all for watching, guys. Please keep hitting that like button. Thanks to all my subscribers. Thank y'all so much. I really do appreciate it. And um, yeah, come in on the lung, guys. Yeah, I think I should have shouldn't have scalped it or what, but uh, I think it needs to go back down to get reset. I'm already at the um, at the end, almost at the end of spring, but uh, yeah. All right, guys, the dirt had the fair rate Bermuda. Peace out, and I'm out. Peace.